business leader, a family man, and endurance athlete, will be swimming California next summer. The Californian, who started swimming as a youngster, trained under renowned Olympic swimmers Matt Biondi and Tim Shaw, two of the greatest swimmers America has produced. Jamie shares their intensity for competition and for extending himself to reach his limits. He tackled a double crossing of Lake Tahoe in 2010, a 25-hour adventure up and back the high-altitude lake bordering California and Nevada. Although he wore a wetsuit, it was a swim where he pushed himself day and night across the renowned lake of deep blue. With that experience under his swim cap, Jamie is training for his next adventure, a swim across California where he will swim 240 miles along the Sacramento River. Jamie will be swimming non-stop without a wetsuit for at least 60 hours. Starting in the day, he will swim continuously through at least two nights. No sleep, constantly moving, pushing himself beyond all reasonable limits. He is tackling this world record swim in his typical fashion, with intensity, intelligence, and inquisitiveness. With intensity, he trains to prepare himself physiologically and psychologically. With intelligence, he learns the challenge of sleep deprivation, hydration and refueling, and develops strategies to overcome these obstacles. With inquisitiveness, he asks experts of all types for their assistance and he comes up with answers and advice. One obstacle that all marathon swimmers face is access to open bodies of water to train. Jamie has solved that problem by installing an endless pool at his home. With the endless pool he can adjust the water temperature and speed at which he trains. He can train by simply walking downstairs and hopping in the endless pool to swim without flip turns or stopping on the wall. He can train at night to become acclimated to swim through the night. A clever solution to the age-old problem of all marathoners. This is his story on Open Water Wednesday. And so now, without further ado, Stephen Munitonis of Open Water Source with Jamie Patrick. Welcome to Open Water Wednesday, and we have a special guest uh, today from San Francisco, Jamie Patrick. Jamie? Hi, how you doing, Steve? Thanks for having me. Uh, great to have you on, on here. Um, I just wanted to uh, have our viewers know uh, more about you and uh, everything that you've done in your very long um, endurance career. Can you give us a, a long background of what you've done? Sure. Um uh, you know, I, I I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area and uh, started uh, swimming at the age of seven um, on a local rec team here. And my my first coach was actually uh, Matt Biondi. Um, uh, he had to cut his uh, coaching um, short due to uh, going to his first Olympics, but uh, it was kind of neat having having him as my first coach. Um, yeah. And then swam. Uh, swam rec for a few years and then joined uh, the local uh, U.S. swim team, um, uh, the Concord Terrapins. Um, it was coached by Ray Mitchell and swam there through uh, through high school um, and at Marimani High School in, in Orinda, California. And then um, went to uh, Long Beach State um, and swam under Tim Shaw, uh, one one of the best coaches I've, I've ever had. Uh, uh, I actually just reconnected with him not too long ago. He uh, was quite an inspiration for me. Um, unfortunately, the the Long Beach uh, men's and women's swim team was uh, uh, dropped due to budget cuts, um, unfortunately. And I uh, was picked up by University of Hawaii um, on scholarship and went out and finished my career in, at University of Hawaii. Um, once my swimming career ended, I uh, started doing triathlons, um, as most do, started doing um, short distance triathlons and, and got hooked and um, started to build my uh, distance up to where um, I, <clears throat> at this point, have done 15 full Ironman triathlons. Uh, back in 2003, um, wanted to do something a little bit different. 
Um, so I did a um, what they call the Ultraman World Championships. It's an invitation-only race in um, on the Big Island of Hawaii, <clears throat> where um, it's a three-day event that circumnavigates the island. Uh, it's a, a 10K open water swim, um, followed by a 90-mile um, uh, bike the first day up the volcano. Um, and then you sleep and you, and you do a 171-mile bike the following day. And then the last and final day, you run from Javi, which is the turnaround point for Ironman Hawaii, back to the pier um, in Kona, which is a double, double marathon. And uh, from there, um, did a couple uh, um, long-distance runs, which um, I just did not like at all. So I went back to um, triathlon. And uh, one day was uh, surfing around as most uh, um, ultra athletes do, looking for different events. Uh, and I found a, a race in Virginia called the Triple Ironman and oh. signed up for the Triple Ironman and um, did that uh, the year, a few months before my, my daughter was born, who's now five. Um, and the Triple Ironman is a nonstop um, triple distance Ironman, which is, you know, 7.8 mile swim, 336 mile bike, and then a 78 mile run. Um, and, you know, was, uh, I took a little time off after that, um, cause of my, my daughter being young and it's hard to go for your, uh, 10 hour, uh, bike rides for training and, uh, decided, uh, as she started getting a little bit older, I wanted to go back to the Ultraman. Um, and, in 2009, did uh, the Ultraman again, um, and uh, once I completed the the Ultraman, I decided, you know, I, I kind of wanted to get back to my roots, which um, was swimming, and uh, you know, really kind of try to do something different. And I started doing some research, and that's when I got in touch with you um, with some lofty goals of uh, you know doing some. <laughs>